Hi, we have made a short film. It was a two days of shooting, seven locations, only one light source. Red Komodo as the primary camera, one week of pre-production and $5,000 budget for filming. I can wait to share our experience creating our short film with you. And I'm going to show you a few schemes of working with natural light, working with interior scenes, utilizing only one non-light for the 500 watts. Also, I will show you the whole project creation process. If you make your own low-budget film, I'm sure this information will be helpful for you. So, my good friend has made a script for this project and works as a director on it. My wife and I worked as producers, set designers and DP. Generally, as on any film project, we had a pre-production plan. The pre-production list looks like this. We needed to find good actors. The actors have to have a cinematic texture of appearance. And of course, go skills and working with dramatic roles. I think that it's a really important point, because you can have a really good film with just an excellent actor and a story. My friend Ted told me about a good example, the movie Luck with Tom Hardy. The pretty interesting story was filmed in a car with one brilliant actor inside. It looks awesome and works, and if you are a director, I think a good actor cast and an interesting story are your main tools for filmmaking. This is the basis for a good movie. The second point of our pre-production is location searching. It's quite expensive to film a story in several locations in one shooting day because moving can waste a few hours. Also, you risk losing a few daylight hours since we work with natural light. Why did it work with natural light? Just because it's cheap and fast. And by the way, I've made a big and free masterclass of working with natural light and location for you, where I'm telling a lot of useful information about location searching, the visual style of the characters in the scene, and secrets of working with natural light. The masterclass turned out to be quite large. It concentrates on the useful information and it's very valuable for me because I don't want to publish it on YouTube. But it is private access for everyone. You can get there completely free, just registering using the link in the description. So, the next point of preparation was props and close picking. We had a certain colors compilation for the story and tried to find things using this color palette as a reference. We had color control of the wardrobe for actors and props for the story. We rented some props and clothes from the local film studio, and some things were bought at the second-hand shop. The next one – tools for filming. As a cinematographer, I want to have a good tools for great visual, and I had the choice to waste a limited budget on a light department with a few powerful light source and crew, or I could hire focus puller and second AC with a good cinema camera with cinema lenses. I chose the second option, and my set was Red Komodo camera, Zay's super speed lenses, Donadoli slider, and a heavy and smooth tripod head for smooth camera moving. It does not mean I ignore working with light. I just want to choose cheap and available tools like the sun and daylight as a key and measure light sources in the scene. Anyway, I will show you a few light setups with natural light. I think it will be useful for you. We did all the items in one week, but to be honest, I was scouting for a month. Many places refused our requests to shoot, but we did not give up and search for other places. As a result, we found something. If you want to find a cool place for your movie, I recommend searching long before filming. It's a good if you already have a few locations for filming before you get a script. This looks like this. When I read the text, I think this scene would be good to shoot in this place, etc. In this place, I mean a familiar place you have visited before. 
The main part of the plot takes place in the house. And in most cases, when we have a house at the shooting place, logical, we have the windows here. A window is a brilliant source of daylight. And our case of a low-budget production, this is a good and free source of key light. I love to use a side light as a key for the characters. And in most cases, I try to put the actors beside the window. Consequently, the character has a light side from the window and dark area from the room side. It looks volumetric light and dark in the frame. It especially looks volumetric on the characters because he has a contrast in this case. I had the cool and powerful non-light 500 watts Forza in my arsenal. The light and power of this source is enough to make a fake sunlight in a room like this. Considering this small scene, the one source suited this location because we have no big windows, no large quantity of them and just one actor in the frame. The one light source is not bad for a case like this, using natural light mixed with artificial. I can make an additional light flow for or intensify the contrast and exposure using non-light. For the close-up shot using non-light, I've made intensified measure lighting from the entrance side. The light flow is directed to the floor and bounced from the foam board, thereby creating an additional contrast on the character's face. Also, we see a glow in the eyes. The reflection causes it. According to the rule of cinematography, this adds artistic expressiveness to the character's portrait. For the medium shot, I use non-light for beams of light from the window. I think you guessed that there is a haze in the scene. Yes, it is. The haze helped to show a highlight in these beams. Also, for focus light, we used Fresnel lens. I used the Fresnel lens many times in the scenes. It helps save a lot of light flow and puts the focus in the right place. Also, I have more expressive rays and sharper shadows with the lens. To be honest, my biggest worry during and before filming was that there will be bad weather. I plan to take many shots with the sunlight and create a happy mood. If it had rain, it would be a completely failure. And you know what? The weather was bad. <laughs> but for dull and sad scenes of the plot, it was matched perfectly and when we are going to make high and bright key scenes, a miracle happened. Just compare these two scenes. The time difference between, between both is about 30 minutes. It was lucky when the clouds disappeared because the weather prediction looked bad on this day. By the way, I often talk about what I did, how I said the light how I came up with this scene and so on. In fact, many things would not have happened if it were not for my wonderful team. Once again, I am convinced that people are the most valuable thing in our life. This project involved an amazing person, Ted from the US. This is a plan B. Without Ted, this project would not have happened. He helped us raise the necessary budget for the project and also took an active part in pre-production for filming. Also, my wife made a huge contribution to this project. Before the project, Gully, my wife, made a selection of wardrobe color styles for the characters on Pinterest, and she worked with the appearance of the characters, makeup, hair, brim, etc. And to be honest, I'm not a good storyteller. Creating a story is a huge challenge for me. And if not for the ideas and plot by Sergei, we would not shoot this story. When we have a good set design, wardrobe and color harmony, this can give us the ability to make good shots with natural light using simple light schemes. This scene is a simple example of it. The light setup is pretty simple. The sun shines as a backlight here. We just highlight the character utilizing beautiful natural light source available to everyone for glow in the eyes. I add the additional light point. I just reflect the lighting from the sun via white foam. Also, this reflection works as an additional side light. I leave shadows on the character side near the camera to avoid flat lighting. 
This is creating cool shots with set design and character appearance. I'm just reminding you that I have a free masterclass, which you will find in the link in the description. I love to work with dynamic and smooth moment in this scene, when it looks actual and suitable for this story, and many people are surprised when I used a slider in large-scale locations. The thing is that when you have something in the foreground, sometimes this is enough to create dynamic camera movement in the frame. I use the Donadoli slider. If you can make backlight with the sun, you must shoot anything after sunset. The blue hour its a magical and beautiful time for filmmaking. I had about 30 minutes until the sky went out. And for this scene, as you can see, we made a campfire. Nonlight had a pretty cool option work in effect mode. We had a specific scene where a big fire should have lighted the character. Making a big fire and dry field its a very dangerous idea. We solved this problem by simply turning on the TV mode on the nonlight. How we power the light in the field? We just used a small generator on 2 kW, and this LED source uses very little electricity working in the field. One generator is enough for 2 kW. Direct lighting has a few flaws in working with metal and close up shots. It makes a very really hard light. For shadows moving, I bounce light like in this setup. Unfortunately, I can't show you more shots of this project because we are going to send this movie to film festival, but I can show you a few secrets in my masterclass. The value of this film is about $5,000. This is the summary vesting for all positions – scouting, transfers, location, gears and stuff, etc. At this moment, we had about 15 minutes of final editing. Since we had two days of shooting, we made about 7 minutes for each day. It's huge numbers for the movie and if we had no professional actors, I think we would have had trouble. For good takes, we had few tries. If the actor had little experience, we would have wasted a lot of time on takes and the movie would have been much shorter. Daily movie timing would be about 3 minutes. Anyway, if you have an idea to make something cool, just do it, mate. And anyway, filmmaking can be cheaper than $5,000 for a film. Thank you for watching. Hug you. Bye.